Coach, as you, as you look at that third quarter there, they were able to close on an 18-1 run. What, what did you kind of see over that stretch that they were able to gain separation? You know, I think DeJounte got himself going. Um, you know, he, he hit some tough ones, some extremely tough ones. Uh, I think we we turned it over, leading to their break uh, again. But, you know, giving ourselves, give them credit for how in which the way in which they played. But it's, you know, you get, you get, put yourself in a tough situation when you turn the ball over 20 times for 21 points. Uh, go to the free throw line and shoot eight for eighteen. You know you got to give yourself a chance in those areas. Yeah, how's Ji? What's the latest on him? Did you get the chance to to see him at all in the locker room? Uh, I saw him in the back locker room. Ji Ji is okay. You, you know, obviously, you hope the best for any player, but for a guy like him, who's who's with everything he's been through, you know, just how much do you hope the best, especially for him? No, we pray the best for that one. You know, my heart dropped uh, when I saw it happen. But again, like he's such a tough, resilient kid. You know, he was in the back, saw him. Everybody went to go look, talk to him and make sure he was okay. Uh, you know, your group's definitely not one to, to make excuses, you in particular. But, you know, when you have three games, four nights, uh, don't get in until 3 in the morning. Just just how, how tough of a stretch you know, has it been, especially when a few guys go down with illness and injury? I mean, it's tough, you know, it's part of, it's, but it's part of the league. You know, it's part of these games. You know, other teams go through the exact same thing, and, and we're a team that does not make excuses. Uh, we gave ourselves an opportunity. You're up at halftime. Uh, so you, there were some things that were working. You know, they turned up the heat, turned up the pressure. Again, you, you turn the ball over 20 times for 21 points. You've got to give yourself that opportunity. Uh, and so if you don't get those possessions, that's what we talk about. It's a possession game, and those are opportunities you can't get back. You talk about guys staying ready. You know, what does it say about guys like Caleb, you know, who, you know, get called upon and, and you know, are ready for the moment? <clears throat> I thought he did a great job stepping in, stepping up. Uh, guys are comfortable with him. They find him, and he's willing to step into a shot. It just says so much about the work he's willing to put in, the work the coaches put in with him. Uh, but, again, getting off this road, getting back home, uh, watch the film where we can continue to make improvements, uh, and we'll be better for it, you know, against Brooklyn. Lastly, how nice will it be to, to have a few games at home and, and be home for at least a, a three-game stretch after being out on the road so much? I mean, there's nothing like being at home with our, you know, with our fans. You know, being at home in our beds, uh, guys getting able to get some practice time, being in our facility. I think it's going to be great for us to get back home. Franz, they were able to close the the third quarter on that 18-1 run. You know, what did you what did you see during that stretch that allowed them to gain such separation? I would say uh, turnovers. Um, and I think we got a little stagnant on offense, and they got easy opportunities um, off of our mistakes, I would say. Um, and also, um, you know, I had a bunch of shots. I think you got to give them credit. They moved the ball pretty well. And uh, yeah, Jonathan Murray made, made good plays. You know, Franz, did you get a chance to, to talk to J.I. back there? You know, obviously you hope the best for, for any player, but especially a guy like him and everything he's been through, what he means to your team, just, just how much do you hope the best for him? Yeah, of course. Um, no one to see that, see that happen, especially J.I., knowing how hard he's fought back um, multiple times. So hopefully everything's uh, going to be all right. And, um, yeah, we, de we definitely need him, so. I know your group's not one to make excuses, you especially, but to, to have three games, four nights, you know, not arrive till 3 a.m. In the, in, in the morning this morning, have guys go down with illness and injury, just just how tough is it to, to overcome that kind of stretch? Sure, it's not easy, but that's what this league is about. And um, like I said, we don't want to make excuses. Um, we didn't reach our standard of how we want to play today. And... Um, just one game we got to learn from it and hopefully do it better on Tuesday. When you guys have guys go out and, and you're challenged shorthanded, you know, to see guys like Caleb step up, you know, what does it say kind of about his work ethic and, and preparation to be ready for, for when he's called upon? Yeah, I mean, it says a lot. I mean, Caleb is always the first one in the gym, so I'm, I'm definitely not surprised that he was ready tonight. And um, I think it's good for everybody to... Um, you know, with guys out, get a little bit of rhythm and get some get some time. I think that's going to be really important as the season goes on. You know, when when Paulo is out, you know, obviously so much even more attention, you know, turns to you. Just just how do you try to manage that when when even more attention is is focused on you and, and what you do? Uh, just try to try to make plays, get in the paint, and make plays. They switched a lot of stuff today, so um, you know, one thing I don't want to do is just play one on one. I want to. Wants to keep playing together, and um, I think we could have done a little bit better job 
um, me personally as well. So, um, but I think I think it's a good challenge, and um, yeah, always always here to learn and, and get better. And lastly, you'll have three games at home now. Now, after spending so much on and off time at, on the road, uh, just how nice will it be to have three games at the Kia Center and, and be in front of the home fans? Yeah, it will, will be great. Um, like I said, we haven't been home for for a little bit, so um, definitely looking forward to, to those three games and just being home as well.